Hey everyone, my name is Scott Barnes with Bolt Life Proof Grooming, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the differences between your head hair and your beard hair. Let's go. Now, have you ever noticed a difference between your head hair and your beard hair? Not only the color, but the texture itself. Now, jumping into it, the main reason is the follicle and the androgens that are in it. Now, between your head hair and your beard hair, your beard hair is going to have more of a thicker follicle because of the testosterone that's coming out from your body. These hormones make that follicle have a thicker and twistier hair that comes out. So essentially, yeah, you're kind of growing your pubic hair on your face. I know that sounds pretty gross. Now let's talk more about androgenic hair. Now this happens after you go through puberty, obviously comes through our armpits, our pubic regions, and our beard. And what you find to know and find out is that your hair also turns color. And this is what happens to a lot of men is that it, the beard hair color is different from the top of the head. Majority of that is because of genetics, right? Androgens. And what's happening is that hair is turning red versus maybe having a brown or blonde uh, head of hair. So yes, in terms, we are technically growing the same hair from our pubic regions on our face. Yes, that is gross. So the hair that grows naturally on your face is very different from that which grows on your head or your scalp. Uh, and everywhere else on your body. Now, facial hair tends to be a little thicker and much more wiry, coarse, dense. Uh, the skin under the hair is also, from the scalp skin, tends to be more oily uh, than the face uh, on your skin. Using some cleaners might be a great uh, way to remove some of that waxiness. And that's why we have, like, right, sh beard shampoo and beard conditioner. It's gonna be a little different from your head shampoo and head conditioner. And like I said earlier, the beard hair may grow completely different in texture from the scalp, right? And even in different color. And it's not uncommon for the growing of the red hair, right? You've seen a lot of guys that have brown hair on top and then red hair on the bottom, but that beard hair, uh, you know, grows everywhere else on the body and may retain a full head of dark hair in the middle age. And yet his beard grows completely gray. And that's the same uh, thing that's happening. And it's just all due to genetics, uh, the androgen, and the type of follicle that's coming out of your beard. And now why are we talking about this and why am I bringing this subject up? And that is due and cause of, your hair is different from your beard and we have to take care of it in different ways, right? The main reason, right, for me is exfoliation and that's putting in beard oil, beard balm, mustache wax. The hair on our face differs from the head, uh, hair on our heads. Um, a lot of people will do differently, right? They'll put some conditioner in their hair, they'll put shampoo in their hair, but not a lot of people have figured out that, you know, our beards need shampoo and conditioner as well. And you can use the same, right? But the biggest factor is we put a lot of food in our face, we don't put food on our head. So that's where a lot of baby fecal matter or, or food bacteria can grow. And you wanna be very conscientious about your you know, hygiene of your beard and your face. But this is a great thing for you guys to understand if you're having troubles in your early years of growing out that beard and your mustache, it's not just because of you, right? It could be a genetic thing. Uh, it could be because of your follicles. And there are a lot of ways that companies have been able to bat this by biotin. They've got skin activators, uh, lotions, moisturizers, and it actually can help grow and or speed the process up a little bit of growing out your beard at an earlier age. But once again, that's why I try to revert to the fact, uh, especially with myself, I wasn't able to get really major growth until I was in my late 20s. I was a late bloomer in my testosterone game, hence why I feel like I have bulked up the most between 25 and 35. And that's what I felt when I was in my you know, 18s to 25s. I was very you know, prepubescent. I wasn't in my full on puberty testosterone swing. And that plays a lot of part in the game. You guys have noticed too, my beard is definitely going gray. And that's just the factor of genetic stress. And I've done a video about that too as well. But uh, the main focus on this video is that your beard hair is definitely gonna be striving different than your head hair. So the big question of the day, let me know what you guys have got going on with your beard growth. If you're an early bloomer or if you're a late bloomer, let me know your struggles, your hurdles, or let me know some positive reinforcement that we can give the community out there uh, a best way for them to shoot forward for a great looking beard and mustache because that's what we want at the end of the day. But with that being said, you guys, go ahead and like, subscribe. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video, all right? Have a good one.